everybody. This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Just want to let you guys know that I'm sending a shout out to Dead Earth 2020. He's a fairly new subscriber. He has awesome content, guys. He reviews The Walking Dead show, one of my favorite shows. He's a zombie fan and also he's a horror fan. So if you guys have not subscribed to him, please do. That's Dead Earth 2020. Please subscribe to him. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Like I said, um, it's going to be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise rankings, guys. I just fin finished watching these films a while back, and um, I'm going to be doing a ranking eight through one. This is my personal opinion, guys. So uh, uh, please sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this franchise ranking video going. Here we go. And in at number eight is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Next Generation. This is the worst film to me of the franchise. Just has some over the top acting and the story wise don't go nowhere for me. I've even heard that Matthew McConaughey and Renee Zellweger have, don't want credit for this film. They do not put in their filmography. It's for a reason. I do enjoy aspects of it but it is the weakest film to me out of the franchise. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Next Generation at number 8. And then at number 7 is Leatherface. Um, I do enjoy this film but it just falls a little short for me. I do like the backstory. And Leatherface growing up through this one. The kills are pretty good too. And the twist got me by surprise. I like some of the cast in this one. It is a fun movie. But like I said, it's not the best. It falls a little short. Which is Leatherface at number 7, guys. That's just where I gotta spot this one. And then at number 6 is Texas Chainsaw. Uh, this one's... I still enjoy this film, but the story goes a little off for me too. And... I know everyone gets annoyed with Do Your Thing Cuz, which was pretty irritating, but yeah, anyways, this film, I do enjoy aspects of it, but it still ain't the greatest, so that's why it's going to be here at number six. It's going to be Texas Chainsaw. And then at number five is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Uh, I enjoy this film. I really like the backstory in this one as well. Leatherface is pretty brutal in this one, and I like how it puts the rise of him into adulthood. And he finally gets his uh, flesh mask in this one. And it's a pretty solid 70s setting as well. The acting solid. I like the 70s look of this film. So I know at number 5 is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. And at number 4 is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I know a lot of people don't like this film because of the goofiness, but it doesn't bother me. I think the comedic side is done right. I like Dennis Hopper as Lefty. And it's, it used to creep me out on some aspects, man. And I like how... How Leatherface is pretty goofy in this one as well. The whole Sawyer family, so I enjoy this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre number two, part two at number four. And at number three is part three, Leatherface. I always enjoyed this one. I like the cast. Ken Foray from Dawn of the Dead is in this one. He plays an awesome character. I like the hard rock music on the showdowns. And Leatherface is brutal in this one as well. He looks awesome. I love that chainsaw, the Saw's family. And... It's definitely got a 90s feel to this, even though it's borderline 80s and 90s. So at number 3 is TCM3, Leatherface. And at number 2 is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Love this film. It's very creepy, atmospheric. Jessica Bill does excellent, has a final girl. And Leatherface looks extremely creepy in this film. I like the meat house setting and the final showdown between Jessica Bill and Leatherface. I just love how they go through that whole thing, and there's a good fight scene with some brutal moments. So in at number two is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. And at number one is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. My favorite out of the franchise. Love this film. Never gets old. I just love the atmosphere. Leatherface is brutal in this one as well. It has the awesome kills, and just that bone-chilling score in this one, man. And I just love the whole Texas setting in this film. It's iconic to me, so in at number one is going to be the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 